Jim and Melanie Matthews always knew that they wanted to adopt children. Yeah, we had always, when we first were married, we had always talked about adoption. Um, Melanie's sister, oldest sister, was adopted, and we'd always really considered that option. And one time we were driving in the car early on in our marriage, and we talked about, I asked Mel, what do you think if we adopted all of our children? When adopting an infant took longer than anticipated, the Matthews decided to adopt a sibling group from Columbia. After months of red tape and paperwork, Jim and Melanie were finally about to meet 7-year-old Durley, 5-year-old Estefania, 4-year-old Jesus, and 1-year-old Prospero. Um, that moment was, it was surreal, it was, you know, five plus years in the making, and um, I remember they brought us into a room that was quite small and they had us sitting around a table with social workers, interpreters, um, psychologists, and we could hear our four kids probably 10 feet away in another room playing, but they wouldn't let us meet them yet because they wanted to make sure that we you know, had all of our questions answered and um, gave us some more paperwork for the kids. And um, I could hardly contain myself. I mean, there are times where I was starting to to tear up with excitement and um, after about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of our meeting then we got to go in and meet the kids and Colombia is a very affectionate country and so in the United States they usually say, you know, get on eye level and let them come to you um, or in Colombia it's, no, you go to them and you um, give them, you know, a ton of affection and hugs and kisses and um, and so I remember going in and sitting on the floor and I had two kids in my lap and Jim had two in his and then um, we gave them backpacks with fun toys and candies in it and then so they got to open those up and then um, we switched, you know, like okay now you have time with Durley and have time with Estefania. And, and you're just lots of thoughts going through your mind, this is it, we've waited so long for this and just to see them for the first time, so many tears and just trying to soak in the moment. Mm -hmm. and to remember because uh, there's so many emotions that are coming through your your mind and just that this is it these are our kids and this is our forever family starting out that way and and uh, just showing love and just wanting to show them and tell them that we love you today we love you tomorrow we love you forever no matter what happens no matter how you act we love you forever so that was, uh, that was really exciting after getting used to life back in America with four adopted children, the Matthews felt like someone was missing. We had been with our kids for um, maybe five, six months, and I felt um, that we were missing somebody, that something was missing, and I couldn't quite explain it. So I talked to Jim, um, and we wrote a letter to our agency that said if our four kids had any other siblings, we want to keep them together, and we would love to uh, adopt them as well. My thought on that was that maybe um, their birth mom would have more kids down the road. Um, and so we got a call about a month after we submitted this letter from our agency that said, um, you, your kids do have another sibling. And his name's John and he's 10 years old and he's now available for adoption. And would you guys um, like to adopt him? And Columbia is requesting that you guys adopt him. And so um, Jim and I were just like very surprised and we started talking to the kids about him. And they knew who he was, they remembered him, they lived with him um, on and off their whole lives. And um, just with unfortunate circumstances, were separated throughout that time. And so we talked to each one of the kids and said um, that we are in the process of you know, adopting their brother and bringing him home because he doesn't have a mom and a dad. And what do you think about that? And they were just so thrilled. They, you know, can we see a picture? And when can we see him? And um, the whole process took 10 months to do paperwork and get him home. And that was really tough to know that, you know, you have another child out there who's in foster care and you're doing everything you can to get, you know, to get him home. And so thankfully, June of this last year, we were able to travel to Columbia um, and brought him home July 1st. Now the parents of five beautiful children Jim and Melanie have advice for families considering adoption. I would say there's a lie that men believe, especially men that I hear all the time, that um, I cannot love this adopted child as much as a biological child. I don't have biological children, but 
I don't see any kind of difference that I see in my kids. I've never thought of them any differently than I would any other child. Uh, they're mine, and sometimes you wonder if you're at a grocery store and you all of a sudden get weird looks, and like, oh, okay, yeah, they're not Caucasian. <laughs> they're, you just, you forget, and not forgetting their culture and where they came from, at the same time, that love is not limited. You know, and don't limit yourself to that. You haven't experienced it, so you don't know. You just gain support. You know, for our children and our family, they prepared us well for the realities of adoption and what we were dealing with. So we were really ready for our own feelings and just our children and how they would react to us and just how they're like general biological children that might not always like you and because you set limits. And just that, you know, it's... Even biological children, you're going to have boundaries that they push and that you push, and just recognizing that it's all all the children. It's not biological versus adopted. Just to try as much as possible to shed that stereotype, and just trusting your heart and your gut, and just knowing that if you have this um, idea in yourself with your spouse or just maybe single persons, that this is that desire. Follow it. Go with it because there are people out there, there are kids out there, there are teenagers out there, there are infants out there that need a home. And they're looking for you to do that for them.